All right, so for this uh, video, we're going to look at something called sinoatrial block. So let's take a look at some of its characteristics. With a sinoatrial block, you're going to have a rate that varies. It will be an irregular rhythm. The P waves will be present and normal. The PR interval will be normal as well as will the QRS width. Now you'll notice that we added this new field for this video called dropped beats. And you'll see this in subsequent videos as well. A dropped beat is essentially a beat that didn't happen that should have. And we do have those present in this rhythm. So let's take a look at the strip up above. If we were to march this out and go from QRS spike to QRS spike, we'd get that amount of distance. It's just over three and a half boxes. If we carried that three and a half box distance and marched it out to this next QRS, it should line up pretty darn close. And it will essentially continue as we continue as we go down the strip. So that's one of the major characteristics of a sinoatrial block. You'll have a rate that varies, an irregular rhythm, Everything else looks normal, but then you have these dropped beat or dropped beats uh, between each QRS. So if you've got all those things present, there's a pretty good chance you're looking at a sinoatrial block.